Hi, it's Damien Carbon with your national news briefing. To Sydney first, the New South Wales government pouring more than $100 million into boosting women's safety. Some of the money will go towards making public places like train stations and parks feel safer for women at night. Premier Dominic Perrottet says he hopes it'll make a real difference. As a government and as a people, we need to do better. From my perspective today and the investments we're making will go a long way uh, to achieving uh, the point. Uh, where women and young girls uh, feel safe wherever they are. The blackout warning on the East Coast and in South Australia has been lifted for this weekend. The regulator says there's enough supply to meet demand, but we're being warned we may have to conserve electricity usage again in the coming weeks. More COVID rules changing on the way for Victorians. From next weekend, any positive case who's in seven-day isolation will be allowed to drive a family member to work or school, but they can't get out of the car. While the mask mandate at airports across Victoria next weekend will be lifted. That's in line with New South Wales, Queensland and WA who lifted their mandate today. The wife of Julian Assange is vowing to fight using every possible legal avenue after the British government approved the WikiLeaks founder's extradition to the United States. Stella Morris defending her husband overnight. Julian has done nothing wrong. He has done everything that any self-respecting journalist should do when given evidence of a state committing crimes, they publish it because their duty is to the public. Join the community that helps make wishes come true. Visit makeawish.org.au to make your donation today. That's makeawish.org.au. And Sport Collingwood is looking into the video of Jordan Degoe in a Bali nightclub. After footage emerged yesterday of the Pies star, the club said this morning they were aware of the vision. On field, Port Adelaide just getting underway against the Sydney Swans at Adelaide Oval. Later it's the Eagles and the Cats at Optus Stadium in Perth. Then rivals GWS and Western Bulldogs face off. AFL reporter Jay Clark, pretty bullish on the Giants' chances. It's been interesting, they've got some uplift since they changed coach. This does happen, so Leon Cameron uh, goes out. Home with a bit more freedom to fly. Sell your home with Villa Bonnet and John for a $2,000 fuel card. Checking the Limestone Coast forecast, a sunny high of 15 this afternoon, getting down to 6 this evening. Light showers tomorrow, 14, and heavier rain on the way for Monday. Our listener app is the new home of radio, podcast, music, and news. Join up to listen live or on demand. 